What's good, guys? Welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. Yeah, we're just gonna drop the 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 the. We're gonna drop the 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 the. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. All right. Steal these drugs. Can I can I start off saying it? I I take back what I said. Who hit me? Don't run. All right, blitz him. That was an AR. Whoa. Oh, I sold my shotgun for that. Ketchup. Who are you just fighting? That was her fighting, right? Like that was a thing that the guy wanted. All my parts. Yeah, your ass better run. Schmied ass, better stop with all that clicking. How the heck do I get in there? Crow is just blitzing me from over here. It's yeah, boy. Who's on that ass? camera whoa that was a saber I've yet to become over encumbered so Yeah. 
How'd I die? Come on. That's not very cool. Now I'm just gonna go in there and kill them. No stealth, nothing. Okay, just a little bit of stealth. That almost ended terrible. Oh, we just... We blitzed from both sides! Did she die? He got her. See any red? Give Let's give her um How did she get that assault rifle, bro? So offer a variety of items. So I can sell. Let's 
Gotta repair those. All right, like, like, no, 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 they're doing this on purpose now. What do you mean, optional? Do I get in there? It doesn't appear that I. It doesn't appear I can do this right now. Yo, so I was watching Death Note again, and like, Light really is just a bitch, like, he had no reason to kill someone if he was like, at all. Just going on speculation most of the time. Now he's just, just fuck Light, bro, like, for real, if I, if I get the opportunity, I'm not gonna shit out of him. Yeah, that guy had a key, I think. I mean, it's not even really the town shit because there was raiders in here, or marauders. So, really, I'm stealing for a good cause. And I'm getting paid for that. I'm finding the other guy, the girl, not the guy. Dare him to try to push up on me.
getting out of this town. I don't know, Wasted. Maybe stop taking side quests in this town, you know? I'm not giving it to that guy. Alright, Esther. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Fuck you. That's not how you spell bye. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? I don't check my cash. Is that oh two K? Okay, okay, okay. Been eating nothing but salt food for a year. I know how you feel. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Music to my ears. I didn't ask what the fuck you have. Huh? Thirty percent discount and it's still thirty five, bro. These are cheap as fuck. But I got 2k now, so I don't really care. And all that money. Not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. All right, Julius. Music to my ears.
turn to the ship. Oh, she looks savage. Like Star Lord. Back to the main quest now. Merc that dude over there on the um left. She with me now, bro. So I can pick that for a second. All right, we're finally off. Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, that's kind of you to say that. Yeah, please come with me. You're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, I, and I thought I was already decided he was coming with me. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain. Oh my god, you will. <laughs> Captain Wasted. What the fuck? Oh, no, I thought her name said something else. I have to pick my own things? That's Captain, crazy. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time. And what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Did she not just say she was gonna help me and shit? Like, she's doing the opposite of helping already. <laughs> not helping. <coughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's funny. What can I do for you, Captain? I know you just felt that. orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Uh -huh, 4K XP? Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Bro, stupid. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? 
perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Well, I don't really feel like I need to ask him why way, he's trying to I get... I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology. Years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Excellent. I don't even want to know what it is. I'm just going to get it. Found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. You ran up your train, me, bro. Transmission ending. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Captain Hawthorne used to be more. Shot objects a disguise on you. One side attacks is crazy. Alright, this is my ship, so. Not ready for mods yet. Point dialogue increases. Oh, that was just so that wow, that's crazy. Okay, I can improve. Okay. Get some of that going. And the enemy.
Alright, this is honestly awesome. Go see. Surely this is normal, I'm fucking dead. Um. I haven't really gotten... I feel like it's time. Let's get to where we gotta go. Olympus? Hephaestus? Typhoon? Scylla? Monarch? Take golden key to whoever I want. The groundbreaker. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard the groundbreaker's got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Ben Tennyson's mom. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean, I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Parvati, look, she my day one, so I'm gonna let her come with me. Looks like I can get six others. Hey, Captain. Up in space. Parvati. This hat was just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. Sorry, can I talk to them? Just arrived. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? Bro thinks he's bro. You be saying that if you've been there. Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. All right, bro. I didn't Guess actually want to talk to you this long. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Imagine me wasting my life loading boxes, All right, bro. unloading boxes, watching the ships roll in and take off. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. 
Yeah, don't care about his name. Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. God fucking. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Starch out of our <laughs> You won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Yeah, you're a chat, bro. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. I got you, bro. Much appreciated. No, because you was you was really chill for real. Else I can help you with? That's it. Fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Be seeing you. Like, I really could knock the shit out this girl. She's just sleeping, chilling. So stealing from the trash is okay though. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.